Hi everyone, thanks a lot for watching again one of my another videos and in today's video I'll share with you some ideas or some tips how to look warm but already with this spring vibe. I know so many of you are looking forward to spring, me too, and of course we are still in February which means it's pretty cold in most of Europe, let's say, and of course in most of the world too. And yeah, I mean, spring is close, but not yet there. And of course we want already to incorporate and start doing our spring looks, but of course we can and don't want to freeze when we are outside. Let's start. So of course, again, as we are still in February and March, I think in a lot of countries, is still considered pretty cold months here in Madrid and Spain. In March, well, maybe second part of March will be more or less leaning towards being warmer, but still, of course, most of the people will be wearing coats, will be wearing jackets, and that's exactly what I wanted to talk about. I know that a lot of people have only one jacket or maybe one coat or maybe two at the most and of course for winter months we tend to opt for darker colors but for example when i work with my cast clients and um, we are preparing spring wardrobe capsule for example or i'm also now working on the guidebook for spring wardrobe which will be on sale i think at the beginning of march what i'm doing is basically incorporating bright colors when it comes to coats and jackets because this is the way to feel spring to create spring looks but still being warm so fortunately it is it has huge amount of colors we have so many variety for coats jackets down jackets and so on and we don't have to always choose white but there are so many colors of uh, when it comes to the coats. So what you can do is simply, for example, if you separate your spring wardrobe, you can opt for a brighter color of your coat. So in my case, for example, I have beautiful lavender coat, which is perfect for spring. It's still warm and it does its job. So that's usually what I do also with my clients. We usually pick one coat or down jacket, depending on what you prefer and we start building spring looks around this coat. As I was saying, see what color works best for you, for your wardrobe, which one you feel more comfortable in, which one you like more and so on. But definitely consider creating your looks with some nice bright or pastel colors, but with something colorful. And this way you will definitely feel you know more inspired also your looks will look brighter your looks will be definitely spring and it will be still a warm look that you can wear in february or in march same rule applies to knits for example or to any upper parts but of course again if we are talking about knits i don't know why but that's what i see with my clients so for winter it's usually gray it's usually dark something you know blue uh, beige maybe maybe white maybe red but it's always you know deep red deep green so by simply choosing a bright color of your meat like i don't know mint green or purple or yellow again make sure that the color you pick works for you and for your wardrobe but by picking bright sweater for example will definitely definitely create this spring vibe look and you will be able to incorporate it in so many different ways. When it's colder, even if it becomes warmer, you can wear it without jacket, for example, with silk skirt or with even shorts or with pants. I mean, there are hundreds of options, literally. Again, I was <laughs> putting uh, brightness into the guidebook and I was like, oh my God, I don't, I, I need to stop put in examples how to style bright knits because it's just, you know, it's just getting too much already. There are so many options. It's actually such a versatile piece because in some countries, even in spring, even in like May or even in summer, it can be still chilly time to time. So bright knit is definitely something that you can reach out 
to during almost the whole year. Another great way to add some touch of color is by using hats or scarves again in some colors. So let's say you are not comfortable or you're not willing to spend extra money or you, yeah, you just don't want to buy, you know, some colorful coat or some colorful needs, but you still want to be, you know, um, in a spring vibe. So you can simply then add some bright beanie, for example, or bright scarf or even silk scarf. And it will already create this beautiful spring vibe. So you will be definitely able to work around it and it will definitely be less spending, let's say maybe. You already have something like that in your wardrobe, so you can simply take it and already incorporate in your looks. And there are so many ways to wear scarves or, you know, if we are talking about silk scarves, okay, there are so many different ways to style it. It will definitely make your outfit look more interesting, more finished, more polished. So it's definitely an amazing, amazing accessory to have in your wardrobe and to use when you build your looks. Another way to create this spring vibe in your looks is of course with accessories such as earrings, such as bags, such as shoes. If you want to add a nice detail to your look, even if it's all total black or all monochrome look, you can definitely add a brighter bag. And again, this bag will work for you for summer, it will work for you for spring, for the beginning of fall. So it's definitely something that is good thing to have in your wardrobe, again, depending how your wardrobe is, but it's definitely one of the possibilities you have to use accessories and create spring look. And last on my list that I wanted to talk about, it's more of a kind, it's more of a trick or tip, is actually layering. First of all, it looks amazing. Second of all, it will keep you warm. So the other day, I well, not even the other day, already a couple of times, I worn my jeans jacket, my denim jacket, which is, I mean, we are in Madrid here, I think usually around like 15 degrees. And I'm usually one of these people who's always cold. So for me, wearing denim jacket when it's plus 15, it's pretty, pretty brave, you know? So what I usually do in such cases, when I want to wear something, but I know that I'm gonna be cold, are layers. And layers here apply to anything. I mean, you can wear tights underneath your pants. Why not? If you know that it's gonna be cold and yeah, you want to be warm, go for it. You can wear, of course, tank tops underneath, for example, any a sweater with round neckline, for example, wearing underneath a t-shirt will always add additional touch to it. Or you can wear a short with a sweater, or you can wear turtleneck with silk blouse, or you can layer two different long sleeves, for example, this is also one of the trendy combinations out there. Or if you are opting for something voluminous what i usually do or not usually but sometimes i do that i use my very thin town jackets from Uther uh, no, sorry uniqlo or i also have a waist very thin down waist waist and i usually just put it underneath either jacket or waist and that's it i'm warm i'm wearing my denim jacket in february it looks amazing and it's spring but it's winter inside so that's definitely a really nice tactic to do not even for spring but for any cold weather when you know that you will be outside a lot walking a lot you know when you're traveling and you know that you'll spend a lot of time outside and you might be cold always opt for layers because it's perfect way as i said not just to make your outfit look more interesting but also to make you warm so this is it i hope you liked that video let me know how cold it is in your countries what are your spring looks that you already have in mind and you cannot wait to wear thanks a lot for watching this video give it a thumb if you did like it and see you in my next video